Hello. Um, welcome to, sorry, I didn't mean to start like that. I don't want you thinking that this tutorial is being done by a ghost. Um, welcome to lesson one of learn blender color. What's going to happen is I'm going to teach you things to do with color in blender and color correction and all sorts of fun things like that. And anyone's welcome to learn. You can be a beginner. You can be an intermediate. You can be an expert. You can be a horse. Um, you probably can't be a horse. The typing would be too hard with your hooves. But to be honest, I'd love it if there was a horse listening because uh, that, would, that would just be very, very exciting. Um, but there will be no free hay at the end if that's what you're waiting for, horses. Don't even think about it. Um, so what I've done is I've pulled this up there which um, not only do I like things in the middle, I also like more space. So I'm gonna push this across, which makes this cube larger, which is what I don't need right now. Um, I often like things getting larger, but not, I don't know. Okay, that sounds just gross now. You're thinking I do some weird penis thing. Um, well, I don't um, on Tuesdays, but every other day of the week I do. Um, so let's, Take a, I don't know what I'm saying. Let's take a look at some color tools, man. So this tutorial, we're gonna, the very first lesson, we're gonna be taking a look at the tools that we're gonna be using, um, some of my favorites. And um, this is a quick overview of what's gonna be happening and what some things mean. And uh, we'll try to fit in as much as we can in a little space of time. And then we'll go into deeper things and uh, looks. We'll take a look at how to achieve looks from the next lesson onwards and then um, deeper understandings of things and uh, stay tuned and um, uh, it'll, it'll be fun. So, okay, so I'm gonna pull this, I don't know why I'm trying, um, yeah, okay, I don't need to do that. Um, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to turn this on, right? Because basically I've got this here and I'm going to, dr I wanna drag this in. As you can see, the little plus appears to, set, to show, hey, you can drop it, but it can't drop. So what I'm gonna have to do is turn on use nodes Cool. So basically how I got here, by the way, I don't know if I explained, I don't know, I don't care. No, I do. Um, I came up to the top here and I said compositing. Now why compositing? Well, we'll be doing a little bit of compositing in this tutorial, um, in this series, but I thought uh, it gives you such a great workspace, who can be bothered pushing this plus button and creating their own? Um, those who are dedicated, obviously. Um, so I'm not, as you can tell, I'm just here to show you things specifically to do with color. I will not be showing you how to bake a cake, although you can send in requests and I might swear at you. Um, okay, so basically let's get to this. I'm gonna drag in this cat. I don't know, the image is called cat with staring eyes. Um, <laughs> yep, so I'm gonna get rid of this render layer because I hate it. And um, I'm gonna get rid of this compositing thing, uh, the composite node, because I hate it. And I'm gonna come here and click um, add, and I'm gonna come up and add a viewer. This is what we just deleted, the composite. The com composite, compositor. Um, I'm gonna add a viewer, right? Bang, there we go. Cool, and I'm gonna, link those two together. So now we've got him coming through here. Could be a her, not sure. Very androgynous creature. Um, the cat. Uh, cool. So let me just resize that properly. Fantastic. And I, instead of coming down here, I don't like doing that because I'm weird. I prefer to shift A. Those two buttons, Shift A. And first we're gonna add my favorite tool, the RGB curves. Bang, right there. And I'm gonna throw that right in the middle of these two. All right, these two are making love in a bedroom. I'm jumping in, I'm jumping in. Yeah, they scream and they realize they like it. All right, so the RGB curves is there. Um, actually, I'm just gonna add in all the tools that I, that I just wanna show you quick, sleaze. I'm gonna add in this. Oh, another's entered the room. Oh, everyone's getting turned on, man. Um, oh, Shift A. We'll do Shift A. We'll do Shift A. 
Now things have turned around. Okay, so up there, and we're going to add in a color balance. Bang, 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 bang. Um, and then I'm going to add in a uh, hue correct. Hue correct. Cool. Okay, so these are some fun tools. And I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to show you this. This is scopes. You can just push T to also achieve it. T for scopes. T, 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 T. Um, great, and these all do fun things, and um, you'll be learning about these more and more. Sample line, you can draw that as well, and it gives you information about the image, and change this um, blue and luma, which is the light level, and you can turn up the opacity of that, or increase the size of these by just pulling on that thing, and um, yeah, these are all fantastic. These are all really great, really great for color correction, man some very useful tools very useful tools or you can just do it with your eye it doesn't really oops it doesn't really make a difference um whichever works for you i don't usually like the histogram so i'm closing you Ugh, disgusting Pah. um so let's first play with this one okay i do be curves now just okay let me quickly explain not much to time not much time what what do I uh, okay so this area is light this area is the light area this area is the dark area okay now um, this curve which is clearly not a curve at the moment it's a straight line liars um, no so it will be a curve um, they just you know positively naming it because of what it's going to be um, this part here is the highlights of the image the lightest points of the image the uh, kind of the white levels of the image. <laughs> we'll be learning more soon. Um, these are the darkest points of the image. Black level, anyway. Um, so, and these are the mid midtones of the image. So, I can push these midtones towards light. What happens? Heaps. I can push these towards dark. As you can see, it changed, and these change, and things are changing. And I'm a woman now. No one knows what's going on. Um, I uh, I just re reset it, so I'm back to the guy. Um, so basically, I, and I can pull, I can actually pull this down as well. I can change the whole. I can remap what it means to be like light in that image, or remap by pulling this up towards the light. What it means to be the dark points of the image, or crush them further down. Um, I'll, you'll get a better explanation of all this this at, at a later point. Um, so basically, to create contrast, um, what we want to do is we want to click here towards the darker points of the image, the darker areas of the image. We don't want to push them towards light, definitely not. We want to push them towards dark, and we want to push away from them the lighter points of the image towards light. We're literally pushing them away from each other. It's clear marginalization. That's why, um, yeah, it's good, it's good. It's 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 a, it's a lesson in race, race relations. Um, it, it's yeah. Anyway, so that's how that's done. It's an S curve. It's a very common thing. We'll get into that later. Um, what do these do? Uh, you can create. We'll get into these more. But anyway, this is the C here may, means combined. This means red. This means green. This means blue. Um, and great. So I'm going to reset this curve. Bang. There we go. Everything's back to reset. In fact, just to show you, I'm going to put it down, and I'm going to come down here with this selected, and I'm going to be like, "What? Oops, go to what is it? Node. Be like, what? I don't want you on here. Oh yeah, I'm going to push noggle. I mean, toggle node mute. Bang. It's gone. Push M, 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 M. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's quickly take a look at these now. What does this do? We learn, you learn about all this. Quit complaining. So this pulls out or pulls, saturates or desaturates a particular color without having to do annoying selections here. So let's see. Pull out green. Now, I, I'll tell you what. Nothing's going to really happen too much. Great. A tiny bit happened there. But I'll tell you what. Because green, all, these, all the colors, especially in this, you know, with this uh, gradient of hues, they're all kind of connected, so you kind of have to let them 
you have to let them leave together, sort of, you know. The greens in this image, though, what I saw, it's clearly they're more towards the greens. Oh, sorry, towards the... Um, <laughs> really? They're more towards the greens? They're more towards the yellows. So, I don't, you know, I can just pull out the yellow and it'll take it, tug out everything. Great. So, cool. That's basically how that works. And you can play around with that. And um, you can make the cat's eyes probably more evil by finding exactly how, what color it is there. Um, this gets, it can get distorted quite easily. I'm going to just reset this. You can also delete these little things with that X button. Um, but for now, I'm going to just reset curve. Bang. Also, you can change the hues. You can remap hues and um, light levels in the image. But uh, so we'll look into that later. So what's this one? Color balance. Cool. All right, let's take a look. This is similar to this. We can create contrast. Where? In the gain. What does that mean? In the lights, in the highest points of the image, in the midtones, in the darkest points of the image. Shadows, midtones, highlights, or gain, gamma, lift. Great. So I can change all the red. I mean, all the highlights towards red. We'll put it back. Um, I can push that up. Same thing we were doing before. We're pushing up and then pushing these two away from each other to create contrast. And you can create beautiful contrast like this. Oh my god, that looks terrifying. Okay. And um, no, it, oh, that obviously wasn't beautiful contrast. Um, change the midtones. You can set them towards like a magenta -y color. Um, or you can push the shadows towards a green. And um, you can shift that around. I prefer this one. But anyway, we'll look into some of this stuff more. Um, so I'm going to mute that. I'm going to mute this. And the last thing we're just going to quickly look at is hue saturation value, HSL. Okay, so hue, what does that do? It remaps the hues in the image quite nicely. Um, well, really, do I ever use this? It's not so great. But, you know, it might depends on what you need. This is saturation. You can change the saturations in the image. These are all within the add color section, all very easily labeled. And you can pull saturation out, you can put it in. Awesome. Uh, and notice hue saturation value, HSV. Same kind of, same way, you know, it works. So, and then that's the light levels. Value means just light levels, basically. And um, factor, which all of these have, you can lower that and the node actually affects it less. Factor of zero, you get like a factor of 50% or factor of one. Or a factor, oh no, you can't put it up. Um, the highest oh no you can put it up yeah you just can't yeah okay cool you can great um and that just takes it to a whole new level all right so these are all very exciting we're going to get into more of this as time goes by and you'll learn how to use these and everything will be fine and you won't feel pain when you go to the toilet anymore who knows what's going to change for your life stay tuned fun things are coming yeah See you in the next video. We're going to be taking a look at looks and different ways to achieve them. Okay.